Joining us now on block is SVB Moffat Nathanson's Lisa Ellis, who covers the company, and Herb Greenberg, editor at Empire Financial Research and a CNBC contributor. Great to see you both. Uh, Lisa, I'll start with you here. You still have a buy on block. You think this is much ado about nothing. But if they are indeed facilitating, I don't know, money laundering, as this uh, report seems to imply, might there not be some trouble for them? Um, look, we just we think the Hindenburg assertions are overstated and incomplete, largely backward looking. Um, the reality is all of these P2P services, because they are uh, cash like in their nature, face an unusual amount of, um, you know, they have to deal with a lot of bad actors, a lot of attempted fraud and scams. You know, there's been a whole look at Zelle, for example, for this exact uh, type of challenge. Um, and so I'm sure there's, you know, some of that going on with Block, just like there is with all of the other players in the space. And they do their best to kind of stay ahead of all of the fraudsters. But um, the assertions in the report are wildly overstated. I mean, there's independent verification of the users of Block that match exactly the user numbers that they that they report. You know, they're audited. Um, there's, a, you know, there's a lot of other they. They are a money transmitter and have oversight by regulators as a money transmitter, which means they have to follow all of the KYC AML requirements that money transmitters do. This is not like hmm. social media where you can just sign up for a bunch of accounts. So there's many reasons why it's, you know, it's not, look, I'm not suggesting that there would be none of this. There never is in anything payments related. There's always some bad actors and some bad activity, but it's, it's in our view, just wildly overstated. But Herb, could this be a case, I mean, there's no direct parallel to Silicon Valley Bank here, but the nature of your customers, even if you know a bank is a bank is a bank, can turn out to matter. Um, how are we gonna know, how does this look to you? How are we gonna know if Block really has put itself, particularly with Cash App, in a tricky position? Well, look, Lisa knows a lot more about Block than I do. I know something about short sellers and something about Nate Anderson and Hindenburg. And what I can say is that, uh, you know, knowing Nate Anderson uh, and the type of person he is and the team he has and the diligence they tend to do is the key thing is you can't ignore what they're saying. It's going to be subject to interpretation. Uh, Lisa makes a very strong point from the bullish perspective as somebody who knows it. But I also uh, think that... Uh, you know, from what I've seen you know, reading the report, um, it's concerning. Okay. But again, that's as, so, that's as somebody who doesn't know Block. You know, I look at that report and I say, boy, those are some interesting things. It'll be interesting to see if it leads to any, any, any interesting outcome.